So I am going to show you how to create an assignment for your students that has them make a thin slide and then share it in Flipgrid. So you're just going to create an assignment in Canvas. And the first thing that you are going to do is um, just create it as like a no submission or you can do online submission with text entry, for example. I'm not choosing Flipgrid yet. I'm going to give it a due date. And then I'm going to save this assignment. Now, the reason I have not added Flipgrid yet as an external tool is I want to be able to add my own rubric. So if this is something that you do want to grade and you want to add a rubric, this is how you can add rubrics when you're using external tools. So I'm going to go to rubric and now I'm going to um, type in my rubric that I want to use. All right, so I've created my rubric and I chose to have freeform comments and so I can give students any comments and then give them their points. And I have the two criteria with some um, descriptors of what the criteria are. So I'm going to choose create rubric. Now that I have a rubric attached here, what's going to happen is my students, um, once I add in the external tool, they won't see this on their assignment like they would on a normal assignment. So I actually have a copy of the rubric in the Google Slides that they will see. So what I can do now is choose to edit the assignment, and this is where I'm going to add Flipgrid as my external tool. So I'm going to go down to where I put submission type online. I'm going to change that to external tool. I'm going to click on find and find Flipgrid and select. So now I can create my actual Flipgrid itself. So I'm going to press save and not publish it just yet because I haven't made the Flipgrid assignment. So I'm going to click save. And now I have the editing access to Flipgrid and I can add in my topic focus. I could add in um, the criteria or all the things that my students need to do. So I'm going to click on the pencil to edit my topic and it has the name directly from Canvas. And then it says this topic is automatically generated from the Canvas assignment. Click the green plus to record a video and submit it their assignment. What I'm actually going to do is I am going to, um, I could delete that, this first part, because they're getting to it from Canvas, they don't need to see that. And for here, I'm going to leave this part for a while, and I'm going to type in my own instructions for my students. Alright, so the first thing I want my students to do is to make a copy of the slides template. And so I have a set of slides that they are going to use. And when I get the URL from the slide, first you want to make sure that it's shared. So I want to make sure that my students have anyone on the internet with this link can view. Sometimes my students aren't necessarily signed in with their school account and then they get to this and like I can't access it and they freak out. So what I like to do is make sure I change it so it doesn't say anyone within your district's account with this link can view to just anyone on the internet. So I'm going to copy the link. And when I paste it into Canvas, what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight, make a copy. I'm going to click on the insert link and I'm going to paste the link, but I'm going to change this. Notice that it has the slash and then edit with some other stuff at the end. I'm going to change everything after that last slash to copy and it's going to force the students to make a copy of it and then I'm going to say insert. Step number two is follow the directions on your template to create your slide. Then they're going to post a 10 second screencast in Flipgrid to share the rationale for your slide. And then step number four is to watch your classmates' videos and respond to at least three other people. And um, what I'm going to add to here later is I'm actually going to add a video for my students to show them how to do this in Canvas if they are on a computer. 
and just show them how to do this assignment if they are on Canvas in um, on a device like a cell phone. And so I'll later add those two links in here. I'm going to change the recording time to 30 seconds. You can choose to moderate the video if you want to approve whether it gets posted live to the class. You might want to do that at the beginning of the year just because you don't know your students yet and they might be testing some boundaries. However, you might not want to do that because that kind of means you need to be responding and checking to make sure that you're not leaving it lagging and not posting so students actually have time to interact with it. And then you can choose a focus, etc. Any tips? Um, mine was the topic for this is kind of a um, community builder, like what is uh, your favorite summer activity? So maybe you can just put a little image right there if you'd like, um, add an emoji or a Giphy. And you can search for something like summer and choose what your favorite summer activity is. So you can add in pictures um, for your students. So maybe it is eating watermelon. I'm going to scroll down over here to press select and then that will be on my assignment. And I could add any attachments. This could be a link to the slideshow, but I put the link up at the top, but you could add it down here. And then you can choose whether you want them to provide an email address to submit their video, but since they're accessing it from Canvas, I don't think that's necessary. And you can choose freeze dates. I always just leave mine up, but you can always go in and edit it if you don't want this to be shown anymore live. And then you have a bunch of controls, whether you want students to be able to edit their video, add attachments, add a video title, things like that. Um, I am going to allow student to student replies, so I want them to um, respond to each other. I can choose likes if I want to. And then it has some basic feedback. This feedback you will be able to see when you're in Flipgrid itself and have rubrics for students, but I like to use the rubric within Canvas. That's why I uploaded that in advance. But then I'm going to say update topic. Now my assignment is ready for students. So I need to make sure that I publish my assignment. So I'm going to go into edit assignment settings and make sure I have it set to publish. And now it's ready to go for my students. This is what the instructions were. So it gave them a topic, their favorite summer activity, and build your one slide on this deck. Um, open the thin slides activity deck, find the blank slide, add one picture that matches the prompt, add one word or short phrase that goes with the image and prepare your 10 second rationale for your slides. So I gave them 30 seconds, but um, they could have more time depending on what your topic is. And so here's their slide for them to put their information on. One of the things that I like to do when I am having my students participate in any sort of online discussion, especially if we're in online learning, is I want to make sure that I am participating in the discussion forum with them. And so I am going to model what a Flipgrid would look like. And as a teacher, when you have this in the teacher mode of assignments, it's actually kind of hard. You have access to record a response here, but what ends up happening is you can't the, the, the window doesn't fit within the little barriers of the screen right here of like this little embedded area. And so when you go to record and do some of the steps, it's too far off to either side and you can't scroll left and right. So what I like to do is actually go to Flipgrid itself. So after I've created the assignment in Flipgrid, I go to Flipgrid and I log in and I'm going to log in with my school account. And you'll see my course, this one's my Canvas PD course. So if I click on the name, I can see my Thin Slides Flipgrid activity. If I click on here, I now have kind of that same view that you noticed right inside of Canvas. It's just 
on a bigger screen so it kind of fits a little bit better and it's a little easier for teachers to use. For students, when they're on Canvas using it, they don't seem to have this problem. It's just in the teacher view of the um, program. So I've already created a thin slide that I've used. It's on a different Chrome tab and I have it in present mode. You want to make sure that your students are presenting and that you are presenting so it takes up the whole screen and you don't have that menu on the left hand side of your screen here. You want just basically your slide to take the whole thing. So I'm going to press present and I'm going to um, actually I'm not going to press present yet because I need to actually first go into Flipgrid. I'm going to choose record a response and here in this window I have the option to record. And when I record, it will give me a countdown. It will say three, two, one, so I know when to begin. We're gonna create a screencast, which is the three little dots to the left of the record feature. When I click there, you can see screen recording beta. I'm gonna click on that. And now it asks me to start screen recording, so I click on that. I need to tell it which screen to record. Do I want it to be my entire screen? I tend to choose my application, or sorry, my Chrome tab, which because I have it open on a Chrome tab. And then what I can do when I click Chrome tab, what's going to happen is it's going to still do a three, two, one countdown, but it doesn't tell me. I don't see it marking three, two, one. So in my head, I'm just going to count three, two, one and then I'm going to start my recording. So I'm going to click on Chrome tab. I'm going to choose my thin slides and I'm going to press share. When I press share, I'm going to present my slide because it's going to bring me to my slide deck tab. I'm going to present, but I'm going to be counting three, two, one in my head. So one of my favorite summer activities, it's actually something I do year round, is to go birding. I love being outdoors in nature, hiking, and observing the different variety of birds we have in our area. So it recorded my slide, and um, you can't hear it because I have that not recording right now in my screencast of me screencasting. Um, but then I'm just going to say next. And I'm going to take a selfie of myself, and so I can take a picture. And you can add stickers, which are a lot of fun. So I was talking about birds, so you can add custom stickers. You could also click on the emoji stickies, and I can type in bird here. And I know I will have a couple of options of some different birds. I'll choose this little bluebird, and I can choose where to put him. Maybe he'll be sitting on my shoulder. And then I'm going to say next. And it tells me not to close my window. It takes a little bit to prepare. Then I have the option. I have my display name, my title, and I can put my word there. I can have a link. Let's say you wanted your students to paste the link to their shared Google Slides. You can do that. And then I'm going to submit my video. Now, as a teacher, so I'm going to say complete. I will see my video here. When your students start adding videos in Canvas, your video, I believe, goes down to the end. I always want my video to be first because it's kind of like that example for my students. So I'm going to click on the star next to my video and it becomes a featured video, which will always stay near the front. So now if I go back to Canvas, you will see if I refresh the page, you will see that my video is actually there. So it's one response, it's here. And I have a little bit of a different view than what the students would. We're gonna see um, each video kind of stacked here, but um, students kind of see them as little squares of everyone like in a grid. And so it's a little easier for students to watch each other's videos.